Welcome to Kensington, Philadelphia, known as the Badlands, where every corner holds a story of lost and despair. Hey, I'm Queen Dee Dee. Mm -hmm. So we asked our old sis, do she fear dying from an overdose on early death due to this lifestyle she's in? Every day, because I'll tell you exactly why. Um, these, this, the, the dope that's out now is nothing but chemical. And from sh us shooting it in our body, especially the um, trank, it causes trank wounds. And um, this is something that I've been suffering with for four years now. I've had them four years. Most people don't um, survive as long because they end up dying within like two years. I researched it all when Trank first came out. Um, and so bas basically, um, I've been dealing with it for four years, but because of the fact that, um, like I told y'all last time, that I go to Temple. So, um, you know, me dealing with it for four years. If I didn't have Temple University, if I didn't have pathways with the medical clinic, um and um uh dr lydia um jerry from teammate supervisor all cares so much about me and and my health as, uh, especially pinpointing to my wounds then i i know for a fact 100 percent i would have been dead already fact what do you miss most about being sober just the, what I miss the most about being sober and this I every day I tell myself is to be able to wake up without using drugs without having to do dope to wake up in the morning to even motivate to feel good to get the fuck out of bed like and, and I'm just being real uh -huh. that is one thing about that I miss is to be, it's, I just felt normal. That's what made me feel normal again. The worst things about being in active addiction, every day, every day I think about this, is the choices I made regarding choosing drugs over anybody and every anything that ever cared or loved me. Number one, is my children and my family is number two and number three is everybody else that ever been in my life because if you've been in my life then that means I fuck with you if I fuck with you then they're the, they're, they're the three worst things about um, being in an addiction and then and then after that is what you looking at <laughs> after that is um the fact that I have to come out here every day. I hate being out here. I hate the fact that I put myself in a situation where people, strangers, can just sit back and look at me and judge me. And I can see it all in their face just by looking at them. That they're laughing at me. Like I'm a nobody. But guess what? I'll tell you one thing. I can guarantee everybody out there has somebody that they at least loved or cared one time that's that's been an active addiction. And if you have no empathy, then just keep it moving. That's it. That's Love it. me or hate me.